Um, welcome to our the 14th, 14th annual Partner of the Year Awards. Um, I suppose this year our ceremony is looking a, a little bit different to, to how it's looked in the past. There's a bit less dressing up and uh, unfortunately fewer dancing flash mobs than we've had in the past. Um, but we're still, we're still delighted to be able to honour our partners. Um, partners are a, a valid and an integral part of the UK UG, and we're genuinely honoured to work with the Oracle Partners to bring value and innovation to the company. Are we okay there? We're delighted to work with our partners who continue to bring value and innovation to the companies they serve, to our members and to the entire Oracle marketplace. Um, we'd like to thank all of you for your many very contributions during 2020. Um, difficult year that it's been. Without our partners and their support, we wouldn't be able to offer the range of the UKUG products and services that we provide to all of the members. Um, we're unique in the, um, the Oracle landscape globally. Uh, in that these are the only Oracle awards that are voted for by Oracle customers. Um, we know from the, your feedback just how important these awards are to you. And it's clear how important these awards are to your customers who voted for you this year. For the UK OUG, it's also important for us to ensure that we, we maintain the awards quality and high standards. And I'd really, really like to thank the, the dedicated panel of UK OUG volunteers who uh, came together to ensure that we do do that. Linda. Yeah, thanks, Neil. Um, so, uh, yeah, as Neil said earlier, one of the unique highlights of these awards is that they're voted for by Oracle customers and all all those votes are validated to ensure that only genuine customers vote. This year, we've had nearly 1,000 of your customers come together to show their appreciation and support by voting for you all, with over 2,000 individual votes across the categories. So votes have been incredibly close in some areas, actually, with 10 votes being the difference between gold and bronze in some categories. Uh, but tonight is about celebrating success, and it's really clear to me just how much each one of you deserve to walk away with an award in your hands tonight. Uh, I'm not sure if that's possible, but good luck to everybody. And uh, now I'm really, really delighted to introduce you to our guest host for the event, who has very kindly given up his time to join us this afternoon. Paul Sinton Hewitt, CBE, is the founder of Park Run, which I'm sure you don't need me to tell you, most of you will know, is a global participation movement which organises free weekly community running events all around the world. I'm sure we've got a lot of park runners on the call tonight, Paul. Uh, so Paul's a former Oracle programmer and he actually built the first park run application himself. And similarly to UK OUG, park run wouldn't be able to operate without their amazing network of dedicated volunteers. So Prepare yourself, can you just come off mute? Everyone come off mute for a moment in preparation because I'm not sure how this is gonna work over Zoom, but we don't wanna be sitting here quietly as we announce the awards and we definitely don't wanna be sitting here quietly as we introduce Paul. So we need to start practicing our clapping and cheering now. Come off mute for a few moments. Let's put our hands together and give a really, really warm welcome to Paul Sinton Hewitt. Thank you, Paul. Dogs. <laughs> Good evening all. Uh, thank you for inviting me to share these awards with you. This is a first for me. Uh, I hope it goes well and I hope you get to enjoy it. Award ceremonies are a time for reflection and if past experience is anything to go by, it's also a time for celebration. So good luck to you all. My first proper job in computing uh, was in computing and I started out as a programmer in Barclays Bank in 1981. That was before the advent of databases, but what I learned in those early days has stayed with me for my life. 
and has become a template for many of the tasks and activities that follow. I was first introduced to databases in 1987, working for a large bank in South Africa. I was afforded all the training that was available. Moving from flat file structures to databases was quite a leap. Since that time, we've seen so many changes in our industry. The acronyms keep changing, but in truth, the basics stay the same. I recall when I was still deeply involved in the industry in the early 2000s, that I spent a great deal of time just keeping up with the latest newfangled invention. It was a, an exciting and often a heady place to work. I founded the Parkrun organization in 2004. I started very slowly and took my time before the real growth began. Each week, I would review and often rewrite some of the software that was managing the Parkrun business. Preparing the database for our potential took many years and a number of redesigns and rewrites of the code. Parkrun is an organization that organizes and manages over 2,000 weekly free walking, jogging, and running events in parks across 22 countries. We have 7 million registered park runners, and on a weekly basis, when it's not COVID, we have over 30,000 volunteers, making it possible for half a million people to participate. That's on a weekly basis. Our historical database has 64 million results recorded. I'm pleased to be able to share that as I grew park run, I used everything that I'd learned while transitioning from a computer programmer to a software consultant to ensure that Parkrun would be able to manage the load and transform from a single entity to a multinational organization with thousands of weekly events. I remember that one of the first awards I received was from a bank I previously talked about. It wasn't anything special, not as important as today's awards are, but I remember being so proud to be recognized and it was special in that I could share this award with my team. If I've learned anything over the last 15 years while building Park Run, it's that whatever you achieve, it's always about the people. It's the people that come together to make high functioning teams and it's their drive, their enthusiasm, and their sheer bloody mindedness that makes it possible to win awards. I've won several awards, and I can quite confidently say that these are always shared with our people. My job this evening is to announce the awards for each category alongside Neil and Linda. We encourage you to unmute yourselves and to clap and cheer if you win a gold award. There are 15 categories within this year's awards, and each category will have a bronze, a silver, and a gold award winner. I want to start by saying congratulations to all our finalists tonight. Well done on being shortlisted. Oh, thanks very much, Paul. Um, so, award number one. Uh, we kick off tonight with the uh, UK OUG Analytics Partner of the Year Award. Um, there's three organisations shortlisted in this category. Have oh, we got a slide, Lexi? The Bronze Award goes to Virtus. Silver goes to InnoApps. The winner of the UK OUG Analytics Partner of the Year Award is Amoska. Well done, Amoska. Thank you. Right. So on to the next award, award number two. Next up, we have the UK OUG Business Transformation Partner of the Year Award. Six organisations have made the shortlist for this category. Paul? The Bronze Award goes to Accenture. The Silver goes to Evosys. But the winner of the UK OUG Business Transformation Partner of the Year Award is Frontera. Frontera Consulting, congratulations. 
Hey! That's wonderful news. Thank you. So next up, CX Partner of the Year. Um, the three organisations for this show on the shortlist list category. The bronze goes to Accenture. Silver goes to Fujitsu. But the winner of the UK OUG CX Partner of the Year Award is BPI On Demand. Yay. Congratulations, BPI On Demand. I'm getting all excited shouting here. <laughs> okay. Award number four. So next up, we have the UK OUG Data Integration Partner of the Year Award. Three organizations made the shortlist for this category. The bronze goes to Virtus. Silver goes to Namos Solutions. The winner of the UKO UG Data Integration Partner of the Year Award is version one. Hey! 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 Oh! <laughs> so, Database Partner of the Year Award. Uh, we've got five organizations on this show list. Bronze goes to Claremont. Silver goes to Explorer. The winner of the UK OUG Database Partner of the Year Award is version one. Yes. Hey. 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 News. <laughs> right. Right. Award number six. Next up, we have the UK OUG EPM Partner of the Year Award. In this category, six organizations made the shortlist. The bronze award goes to Frontera Consulting. Silver goes to Namos Solutions. But the winner of the UK OUG EPM Partner of the Year Award is Amoska. Yay! Well done, Amoska. Yay! Well done, Amoska. Thanks, everybody. Um, <laughs> I've got to say, um, this is so much quicker than on the night. <laughs> I'm missing, I'm missing yeah, no the wine. dancing flash mobs. <laughs> um, um, unfortunately, yeah, we're, we're all missing the comedian. <laughs> well, which one am I doing there? He'll be part of the year. Um, no wine. <laughs> so, um, and, uh, another big category, six. Six organizations on the short list there. The bronze award goes to Frontera Consulting. Silver goes to Claremont. But the winner of the UK OUG ERP Partner of the Year Award is version one. Hey! 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 hey. hey. <laughs> right. Uh, next up, we've got the UK OUG HCM Partner of the Year Award. Another category of six. And tonight's bronze award goes to EvoSys, the silver to Fujitsu, but the winner of the UK OUG HCM Partner of the Year Award is Namos Solutions. So, Industry part of the Year Award. It's interesting, I don't know about you guys, but my microphone doesn't actually like the applauding very much. Um, it's it's mm. rather strange. Um, so, four organisations up on the shortlist for our Industry Partner of the Year. The Bronze Award goes to EVOSIS, while the Silver goes to Claremont. But the winner of the UK OUG Industry Partner of the Year Award is Namos Solutions. Well done. Award number 10. Uh, this award is for the UK OUG ISV Partner of the Year. Four organisations were shortlisted in this category, and this was the tightest category of them all. Wow. The Bronze Award goes to Splash BI. This year, there was an equal number of votes in first place for the UK OUG ISV Partner of the Year Award. The UK OUG are there for awarding two gold awards. The joint winners of the UK OUG ISV Partner of the Year Award are More for Apps and Namos Solutions. Well done, both. So, 
And now for the UK UG, Managed Services, Outsourcing and Operations, Partner of the Year. Uh, lots of organisations throughout the shortlist on this one. So, Paul? The Bronze Award goes to Inlumi. The Silver category goes to Claremont. While the winner of the UK OUG Managed Services, Outsourcing and Operations Partner of the Year Award, application is, uh, sorry, that's for the application, is version one. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Brilliant. Next up, we have the UK OUG um, Managed Services Outsourcing and Operations Partner of the Year Award for technology, this one. Uh, there are six organisations on the shortlist here. The Bronze Award goes to NAMOS Solutions, while the Silver goes to Claremont. But the winner of the UK OUG Managed Services Outsourcing and Operations Partner of the Year Award for Technology is version one. Yes! Yay! Yay! Middleware Partner of the Year. Just three organisations up on the shortlist for the Middleware Partner of the Year this year. And the Bronze Award goes to eProceed. The Silver goes to NAMOS Solutions. Whilst the winner of the UK OUG Middleware Partner of the Year Award is version oh, one. Yay! yay, yay. yay. <laughs> Right, now we have the UK OUG Platform Partner of the Year Award. There are seven organisations in the shortlist for this category. Bronze Award goes to NAMOS Solutions, while the Silver goes to Claremont. But the winner of the UK OUG Platform Partner of the Year Award is version one. Congratulations. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Leading up. Well, uh, fortunately for our Final award of the evening, version one, are not up for an award. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's the, uh, uh, ex expect one of these companies to be bought by version one before next year's awards, though. <laughs> no, you can't. <laughs> OUG, training partner of the year award. The bronze award goes to Fudgelearn. Silver goes to Namos Solutions. The winner of the UK OG Training Partner of the Year Award is Key Tinge. Well done. Right, so that brings us to the end of the award ceremony. Congratulations to all of our winners and everyone that made the shortlist this year. Um, well, hopefully uh, we'll, we'll get our, all of your trophies to you very, very soon. Um, uh, we'll need a very big lorry for version one. Um, <laughs> And so uh, someone from the UKUG office will be in touch later this week to get the delivery details off all of you. Yeah, and uh, once again, on behalf of UK OUG, I'd like to thank you all for coming this afternoon and a really big well done to all of our winners and all of our winners up and everyone who got shortlisted. Well done, everybody. Um, and thank you so much to Paul for taking time to the host the awards for us in this really strange year um but it's it's been really good thank you paul for doing that thanks for having me well done thank well you done, UK thank, UK you. For organizing thank you guys thanks everybody thank you 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 a big thank you to the office too thanks lexi thank and you. michael for an absolutely wonderful wonderful um, organization of this conference Thank you yes. very much. Yeah, I call that. Thank you. Well done. They'll send them to us.